Good afternoon people, good afternoon viewers and watchers. Hello Isaac, what are you doing? So, um, on my last vlog, last video, where I went out on Saturday and Sunday, one of the comments from Gerard Kerwan, I hope that's how you pronounce your sur surname Gerard, you were asking me about the gloves I was wearing, so I thought I would go through and show you all the different cycling gloves that I've collected over the years um, and what I've got left so I will just cut into the pile on the floor now and then we'll come back up so we'll start off with these really old Trek lobster gloves so these are that old they've still got a leather palm I've not used these much at all but the leather's all been eaten away. But I just, I should throw them away really. I don't know whether you can see there, there's holes in those. And I think that these are that old, they came from a shop called Freewheel in Solihull. Maybe 25 years ago, I would guess. Certainly before I moved to this house. And we've been here for 19 and a half years. So that's per one, I should throw those away. Then we've got, if I just sort the piles out, I'm missing some. Let me pause, I'll go upstairs and get another pair that I've not brought down. Hang on. Okay, right, so then we used to go to, from those, been through various other pairs over the years, but then we started using these chipper gloves. Now these particular pair, are thermal and windproof but not waterproof and I had another set that had a waterproof membrane in um, these were brilliant because they're relatively thin thermal and warm and these would be great down to about freezing zero degrees centigrade and then we used to switch to a pair called sub-zeros and I think I must have got rid of my sub-zeros at some point. I suspect I've probably lent them to one of my two sons and they've disappeared. But um, I used to use these for cyclocross as well. The only problem with these is the cuffs aren't very big so you did get a bit of a gap. And these were starting to fall apart last year. And um, I was hunting to replace them. So that's, that's those. Those are all the ones as well. I then have two pairs of Chiba waterproof and windproof gloves. Uh, these have got pull on tabs. These are called Dry Stars. These are pretty good, but they're a bit bulkier. Um, they've got a membrane in. And they are pretty good, these. But the thing I don't like about them is the black, the colour. These are waterproof, windproof again, relatively short cuff. They've got Velcro on the cuff there. So they are better than they used to be, they've improved them. But again, these are only good down to about freezing. But they are waterproof. But of course what tends to happen is water will run down your sleeves and into the glove that way. So your hands still get wet. And with all of them I find that if you're working hard anyway, your hands get all sweaty and clammy. So if you take them off mid-ride and you're not going in a calf or something and then you try and put them back on, you have a job getting them back on. So yeah, I've got two pairs of those. The reason I've got two pairs is I lost a pair, bought another pair and then found the, the pair that I'd lost. So I've got two pairs of those. I then bought these Thinchlet ones. These are a sender make. I've had these a long time to try and replace the sub-zeros that I had. So these are meant to be for below freezing conditions, but again, black, really bulky, no reflective on them, but a grippy palm. So these again, old, I don't tend to use those now. And then last winter, roughly 12 months ago, I was hunting and I was on the Planet X website and that's when I came across the next lot. So I bought the Karnak, wind block technology ones so they are um, obviously as you can see the fluorescent yellow these are thin so they're good because they're thin um, they were only cheap 
eight pounds maybe I'll put a link for these in the description for you Gerard um, but what I don't like about these as I've said before is there's no terry toweling bit on your hand here to wipe your nose because my nose always runs when I'm out in the cold you know so um, but they go in the washing machine they come out okay but I've been wearing these for 12 months I do wear these a lot and you can see just there probably on the thumb it's starting to wear through so these are okay down to about so I was out on Sunday and I had these on on Sunday didn't I so the, I was okay down to about freezing below zero um, I have to go to the next third which I'll show you now these are okay down to freezing they've got gel on the palms and across here so those colour wise, gel wise, bulk wise and long cuffs are better than the chipper dry stars and these old expert ones because those are bulkier but they've got the terry toweling on they have got a bit of a gel pad on the dry stars so on saturday's ride in the last video then when i took these off i put on the next ones again wind block technology these ones have got terry toweling on the thumb and they've got a bit of a liner in so they're bulkier but i struggle to get these on and they've got a nice big cuff velcro there they've got the yellow Karnak again got these from planet x again at the same time i will put a link in the description again they weren't much these are still available and these were okay i wore these on sunday i went out in these on sunday knowing it was going to go down to minus one um and it was only when it went to minus three that my hands got cold with these then at that point i put on these first of all so these are um, Galibier, Roubaix, they're just a fleece glove but all the white bits are really tacky. I bought these in the summer, probably not the summer, probably the autumn period. So I've only had these a couple of months. I have worn them once or twice just on their own. Um, so I put those on first as a liner. Also I knew that with having all sweaty hands, because these had got damp, that was my problem these have got damp um, I put these on because I knew I could get these on easily and then I put these on the lobster gloves bit of gel there grippy lobster nice and yellow drawstring cuff and I knew that then having got that on it helped me get these on now the bulk is a bit much I could probably do with a larger size to help with that but then this portion of my hands was great down to minus four it was just that thumb that went cold that thumb went numb so yeah hope you find that useful I mean the trick the trick is layering I know some people talk about putting um, latex gloves on on um, not let not latex, the, non, the nitrile gloves, you can put nitrile gloves on, pair of nitrile gloves, but the problem I find with that is, like when I took these off, my hands are wet, and if your hands are wet, you're never going to get glove, um, nitrile gloves on, and I've worn nitrile gloves at work, and you can't, you just can't get them on if your hands are wet, you've got to wait till your hands are dry before you can get them on, and in the cold, that's not going to happen, if you're stopping in a calf, yeah, sure, put a pair of nitri nitriles over, They'll keep the water out, they'll keep the cold out, and they will help keep you warm. So yeah, hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching. Remember the prize draw for the 1000 subs giveaway coming up on Thursday. It's Tuesday today, so thanks for watching. See you later in the week.